Firstly, let me say shout out to the dev for supplying me with a review code. At the beginning of my play session, my mindset was at a review. But as I finished the game and realized how little advertisement and around the time it released with being overshadowed by so many new games, it kind of it bothered me a little bit. I feel as though this game should have a fair shot and that's why I'm recommending it to you all. This game is called Snafu. It is supposed to be some sort of Norwegian uh, money making simulator. And it's interesting because it takes the idea of the tycoon genre and adds a, some horror elements to it. Once the tycoon-esque elements come in, it's a very addictive gameplay, very simplistic. Level up your character, level up your bank, make more money, buy assets, money keeps rolling in. So when the horror element comes in, you want to keep going. You even find out that you can't die, but you lose a lot of money from dying. So there's a consequence for dying, but at the same time, there's not. So it's a smart way to let the casual audience keep on playing the game and play it to completion. I got the first ending. There are two more endings you can acquire, which is very cool. The fact that there's plenty of replayability in this game. So let me tell you something. The atmosphere in this game. I'm going to play a moment for you that literally, you know, had me <laughs> had me frozen in fear. Listen to that. Just listen. Dude, I don't know where you got this sound. I don't know how you made it happen, but yo, kudos because I did not feel comfortable up on this spot. So the quips, the jokes that Alibaba and Snafu make are interesting. It's very, it, it I don't know, it, it's very, it's charming. There's a lot of charm to the game as well. If I were to give this game a score for the price of admission, which is less than $5 due to a discount on release and around $5, I'd give it a solid 910. But I'm just saying at the beginning of this video, I'm telling you to try it out. It'd be really cool if more YouTubers got to play this game. I feel as though a lot of people would really embrace the idea of this game and what it's trying to accomplish. It's nothing crazy, but it just takes you back to that time. It, it made me real nostalgic to that time of Slenderman and just the consistent indie games, but it really freshens up that idea. So I just wanted to let you guys know about this game and, you know, heavily recommend it. I hope you all have a great day and I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.